Wow, look at that, what a morning, what a morning. Well, you can probably see behind me, whoa, it's a fantastic, fantastic day. And the first snows, well, the snows have been here for a couple of weeks, and we're out making the, the most of it. And we're, today's adventure, we're going to be uh, looking at doing something I've never, never done before. And it's a traverse of one of the highest mountains. Well, it's the highest mountain in this range. It's a big, massive. And uh, I'm also going up onto the, the ridge we're heading to now. It's really steep. It's the first time I've ever been on that. And when you find it where I am, you might, uh, <laughs> you might be surprised at that because I'm in a very popular area, but we've not met a soul. It's a lot quieter here, which is nice. Anyway, it was an early start this morning. I got up at about half five and I had to defrost the car and it was a long drive up icy, icy roads to get here and I've met Jerry and Jerry's just heading up behind me here uh, I'll tell you something about Jerry today, I'm a bit envious of him <laughs> I've got some gear envy, <laughs> I'll maybe talk about that in a wee while but I'm seriously jealous of his gear today uh, but more of that later on Anyway, so I got up early, drove all the way up, uh, met Jerry and we, this route, because it's a traverse over the hill uh, we're leave, we've left one car at the far end and another car at the start so we don't have to walk back along the road but I'm really really looking forward to this and the weather's looking superb absolutely fantastic so enough enough talking <laughs> let's get walking Woo. Oh, sunshine! Yeah. Ridge that we were headed for, it was a pathless and steep ascent, and we soon hit the snow line as we topped out in the ridge. And oh, what a place it was! The tops of the hills were all shining white, and it was nice to be in the sunshine. And we started to make our way along this ridge and it was great because as I said before I'd never been on this ridge before and it gave me a whole new perspective of the area. It was absolutely lovely. As we got higher along the ridge the snow got a bit deeper and it was a bit colder and it, the, the rocks were all ringed up with ice so we stopped at a cairn to get a bit to eat and to get the winter gear ready for the ridge ahead. So it looked nice and sunny and warm, but believe me, there was a slight breeze blowing which cut right through you. So as well as getting the ice axe ready and the crampons onto the feet, I wrapped up and put my hard shell on just to keep that biting wind at bay. But it was still beautiful. Oh dear, what a view we've got here, isn't it, Jerry? Not too shabby at all, but it's not grand. So we're, we're actually, the ridge that I was talking about that I've never been on before, this is it here, this is Ben Fatter Ridge, and it's just fantastic. You'll not see it, but behind me you can see the ridge stretching down towards Glencoe, and then the Memoirs and Ben Nevis, all snow-capped, and then behind us we've got our objective, which is, uh, yeah, it's the Bidjian Nam being massive. We're hoping to do the traverse from here right round, and uh, yeah, it's not looking too bad, is it? It's looking very good. Yeah, it's not, uh, the weather's good. Very good. Anyway, I'm, I'm a bit jealous of your uh, your outfit today. I was saying to the guys earlier on that I've got some envy, gear envy, this this bright orange top. Well, Murray, well, some, some are born to it and others <laughs> aspire to it. Fashion, <laughs> fashion setters, I know, yeah. Next video you might see uh, see me in a, a nice orange smock and uh, new, new blue trousers. <laughs> Anyway, monkey see, monkey do. Uh, 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 yeah, you know, can't, can't help it. Fashion trendsetter here. Anyway, so we've got, you've probably seen, we've got our crampons on, ice axes out. There's a wee bit of technicality coming up called the bad step. And once we've got that out of the way, it should be a lovely ridge walk round and uh, over Bidjian. So. See my water bottle falling over as well. Uh, that, was, that was good timing, yeah. 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 Dramatic effects. So. Right, food and then uh, we'll get cracked on. Yeah, that's cold. Yeah. So along the ridge we went, 
And as I said earlier, it was fantastic. It gave us a different perspective on mountains that we'd gone up lots and lots of times before. It was just so nice to be in such a familiar location, but on unfamiliar terrain. And the ridge was lovely. It snaked its way along and we could see the Monroe at the end of the ridge calling us on. But before we got to that, there was the small matter of the bad step, which we eventually reached and we just checked out to make sure we knew which way we were going and what have you and decided on a method of ascent. Just before reaching the bad step, the ridge narrowed to this knife-edged shark fin with steep drops on either side and we were certainly glad of our crampons here and we were going to skirt round the bad step to the left and then go steeply up and this was yeah we were glad we had our ice axe and crampons at the ready at this point because it was some steep and quite tricky ground in this sort of condition a slip would have yeah, it would have had serious consequences so much care is required here i think in in winter and summer to be honest with you Anyway, we were soon over it and striding towards the summit of the first Monroe and the rocks just got icier and icier. It was just fantastic. It was a really, really nice day to be out. It's not bad, is it, Jerry? It's a bit chilly. It's a bit chilly. Uh, we're we're not far off the summit of Stobkoy or Screamach, 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 and um, we just came, came down a wee bit because it's a wee bit more sheltered here, it's but it's just right lovely, ah, it's no, there's, a, there's a steep drop behind me, I'm not heading down there, quick way down. that's a quick way down, <laughs> but what a viewpoint this is, we can see the rest, of, we're in Glencoe obviously, you can see uh, Bidjan Nambi and that's the highest mountain in Argyle, and from here we can see right down Loch Etiv, and everything, it's just lovely, it's one of those days that the mountains are all topped, topped with a coating of white, aren't they, Jerry? Beautiful, it's a special day. It is, one of, one of those days. We, we had a similar day last year. <laughs> and we, <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. It was fantastic, but then we didn't have another day of snow until about April, yeah, so yeah. fingers crossed it's not the same. Yeah. Anyway, a wee story about this summit, uh, Stobkoer Screamach. Uh, it wasn't a Monroe until 1997 and it was promoted uh, to Monroe status, but really... This, this this sort of massive of mountains, it's, it's one big complex really, Bidjan being the highest point. There's all these fingers going down it, you've got the ridge we've came up, that's one of the fingers of Gear Anik. And is Anik Du the last one? The three sisters. Uh, three sisters, Anik Du, Gear Anik. Anik Du. Anik Du. That's the three yeah. that run out. And it's just a magnificent mountain. Uh, I remember looking at it over from the Anahigic and it just, you get a sense of how big it is. So we're going to traverse it now. So we're at the top of the ridge now. And we're going to head right along the ridge before dropping down to the car. It's just lovely. So we'll stop and get a bite to eat here, then we'll get cracked on. Lovely. Ooh. The next summit on the ridge was the highest point on the ridge, Bidian Nambian, and we were headed along towards it, constantly looking over our shoulders and enjoying the views. It was just absolutely lovely. And it wasn't too much of a trek from the first Monroe to get there, but we were soon reaching the top and enjoying the views from the highest point in Argyle. Ah, here we are. Oh. This is the summit. Oh, Bidian Nambian, look at this, lovely. Jerry's headed on a wee bit. This is just lovely, and this is a very poignant summit for me. I'm looking around here because the wind's right in my face. <laughs> and you might not hear it, so I'll come around this side, it might be a bit more sheltered. Yeah, so this, uh, the last last time I was here, yeah, it was a bit of a special uh, special summit, as I said, I'm not going to now. But anyway, today, it's just as good as it was the last time, albeit the opposite season, or opposite ends of the season. Everything's white and cold, but it's a bit breezy up here, as you can probably tell. But the views are just magnificent. I'll do a wee panel. You can see for miles today, you can to the cool and away to the Northwest Highlands. Anyway, this is the 10th, no, it's not the 10th, I'm speaking nonsense. This is the highest 
mountain in the in the county of Argyle. And I, I do feel like I'm on the highest peak here. I can just see for miles. But I'm not gonna linger, I'm gonna head on, we're gonna to have to stop Kern and Beef, which is over there before heading back down and finishing the traverse. But yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. What a day. Right, let's go and catch Jerry up. down there. That's Stop Curry and Beef. And we're going to stop there for a, another bite to eat. It's lovely. There's Loch Afrioken. That's where the car is. <laughs> In the loch. In the loch. Hey. Wow, look at that. There wasn't too much of a trek between the summit of Bidjan and Bien and Stop Curry and Beef, which was the final peak on the Traverse. Beyond this peak it was downhill steeply to the car, but we, we stopped, headed up to the summit and stopped for a quick bite to eat and a bit to camera. The end of the ridge now, Jerry. It's a stop curling and beef. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, from here. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Well done, sir. Thank you very Thank much. You. Splendid. So yeah. Did you get the traverse you wanted? That was fantastic. Yeah. It's been it's been really good actually. It's absolutely fantastic. What a day we've had. It's, if we get anything like this in the way uh, in the next few months, we'll be we'll be super happy. Very good. Anyway, you were talking about this. Uh, what does this summit mean? Stop Curry and Bay. I, I I believe it means the peak of the curry of the beech tree. Ah, right. Stop which is so. which is in contrast to Stop Curry and Screamach, which was uh, Stop Curry Screamach. Screamach. I was, thought was the peak of the curry of the howling. And by what did I say? The you peak of the loathsome curry. curry. Yeah. Who knows? Somebody, <laughs> somebody knows. If somebody, knows. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will tell us in the uh, in the comments below. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're um, from here. We're just going to head uh, head back down to the car. It's going to be quite a steep descent. The views here are just fantastic. I was saying to Jerry over to the left towards Balahulish, it almost looks uh, autumnal, and then on this side, you're like into deep winter. It really is a, a contrasting uh, you know, viewpoint. You can see the, the western seaboard over there. Mull on or Ben Moore and Mull, and yep. you can see the coolings. But this this weather front's moving in now, isn't it, Jerry? It's yeah, the cloud steadily building. It looks like that. I don't. I haven't seen the charts. So it looks like a warm front. You've got stratiform clouds yeah. building. So I think it's a warm front coming. Probably going to bring some precipitation. Yeah. Type the head down, I think. Yeah. Back yeah. To the it's all downhill now. This is the exit of Summit Gully, which is an excellent place. Yeah, you do that. Uh, you get, you, you, you do that. that. Yeah. Right. Anyway, so we're going to call it here. So uh, yeah, until next time. Stay safe out there, and thanks for watching. Right, shall we head down? Do you like that, Jerry? <laughs> so leaving the final peak in the traverse, all that was required now was for us to find the, the path down into the quarry, and it's dropped really steeply down. But it was still beautiful, but the, and the cloud was actually starting to build. We, we timed it well for once. But what a fantastic day, and another, another wee adventure out for the weekend. Absolutely brilliant.